Pepper says, are you ready to declutter the back shed today? I'll be inside because I'm an indoor cat. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to A Hoarder's Heart. For today, we are getting into the back shed because it is 70 degrees out, no humidity, it is gorgeous. And I'm just taking a break from the basement to get into here because I don't want us to be in the back shed when it's like hot and humid in 80s and in the 90s. That is not going to be fun. And I'm happy to say that I did get clearance from the doctor. Everything is looking really, really good. I do have two more small kidney stones in the right kidney. Yes, you heard me right fragments from the surgery. It's like a four and a five millimeter. It's a nice size. We'll be doing the lithotripsy on that later. We're giving my kidney some time to heal. But other than that, I am cleared to lift, declutter, work. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is start to take everything out because everything is just piled on top of each other and there's no organization. So once we're done decluttering, that's when we can start to organize it so it's more functional back here. And most of the stuff that's kept in here is a lot of my gardening stuff. And since it was packed away for the season, a lot of stuff is going to be coming out shortly because of the change of seasons. And I'm really looking forward to that because I do love gardening and I want to recycle, reuse everything I have, spruce it up, make it look better. And to do that, this area needs to be organized because I have to see what exactly do I have? I don't want to rebuy stuff that we already have, especially since I've been laid off and I'm trying to be very resourceful with the severance package that I received from work. Another thing that's in here is a lot of the beach stuff. So I'm going to start identifying those categories. So then when we do declutter, I can have organized areas for them. Like one section is going to be all the gardening stuff. Another section is going to be all the beach stuff. And another category is going to be fall Halloween because I have a lot of yard decorations for that holiday. Now, right in this container, I can see that there's a lot of my yard stakes. Now, I do love my garden decor because you know how much I love being in my flower beds. But for my May No Spend Challenge, I am not going to buy any new yard decor. Only flowers to put in the beds. Now, this is my paddle because I am on a dragon boat team and that season is starting up. This is one of my life preservers. This is the one that I always use. It was like a two for one deal. So I just kept the second one in case I needed it. And underneath of that is oh, an old watering pail when they were little. Now I'm sure we can let that go, but I'm going to confirm that with the boys. Same with these bats. They don't play on a team anymore and they've outgrown these. They only play baseball for fun in the backyard with like wiffle ball. And as I go through the stuff, it's amazing amazing what I forgot we had. I forgot I had this brand new flamingo steak that I probably bought three years ago. And I am getting a rush of dopamine because it feels like I'm shopping my hoarded stash. I'm finding things that I forgot we purchased years ago because it was buried under all of this crap. So this is just another reinforcement to my nervous system that I'm still safe if I declutter. And now it's turning into I'm actually having a lot of fun when I declutter. And literally at the bottom of the barrel, there is an Easter basket stuck to a soccer ball. And except for the turkey that I will keep, the rest of this stuff is a tossy tossy. And now let's move on to all these chairs. We have the newer beach chairs, then we have some camping chairs, then we have the not as new but still functioning beach chairs, then we have the kids beach chairs, and also the 15 year old wonder wheel that's on its last legs. And in this corner, this is all tossy tossy. This is all scrap metal that hubby has to take to the scrap yard. So we're gonna have to see what hours they're open. And in these next two bins are about 15 years of the boys sports and recreational 
balls. Now I'm making decisions for them as far as separating the balls as to what was a crane game, what they've outgrown, and what I think they're still going to play with. But in the end, they still get the final say. So if they decide to keep something, I allow them because I want decluttering to be a positive experience for them. Not a negative one where mommy got rid of all my stuff without my confirmation. That's how I'm wiring my kids to have decluttering be a positive experience for them. Now this yardstick, I kind of want to DIY and update it a little bit this season. I think that'll be fun. And as we move back into here, I see yet some more camping chairs, but this is when the boys were little and I'm definitely getting the feels from it. And all the memories of when they were little and them sitting in it and how cute they were is a wonderful feeling, but it's not gonna bring that time back. So it's okay. It's okay if we let go of the little kid toddler chairs. And as we continue, there is still a lot more garden decor to be pulled out, which is good because we're taking it out now and it's gonna stay out because it's spring. So that automatically opens up a space in the back shed. But what I'm seeing under this basket is that there's even more holiday floor mats. And this one is brand new. So again, we're shopping the hoarded stash. And actually, I'm taking this moment to take out this old one, clean out that front step, and enjoy the new front doormat for the season this year. Same with this hummingbird food packet that I bought on deep clearance in fall last year. I'm going to take this time to actually put some of the decor out because I don't wanna bring it back in after we're done decluttering if we're already in the spring season. And plus, me and Peppy absolutely love seeing the hummingbirds outside the bay window. And I'm also gonna take the time to sweep this little section up. Now, this right here, this pumpkin head is really old from 2009 and, and we can let this go. And this red tarp, goes to the top of the pop-up tent. So that we just gotta put to the side. And now that hubby is awake, he took the lawnmower out to cut the grass. It's amazing how much room actually opens up when you take the lawnmower out. And I needed to move the equipment out of the way so that I could get to the stuff against the back wall. Now here's the fourth camping chair. So all together we have four camping chairs. And even though they're a little rough on the edges, they're still functional, except for the trash that was left in here. That's a tossy tossy. And another tossy tossy is this random wood stake. I don't know what it went to, but again, bye bye, it's out of here. And I can see hidden in this back corner corner, some very old garden stakes. These are probably over 10 years old because they're rusted, they're old, and we're going to let them go. I'm not feeling the need to try and create them into something new, so it's a tossy-tossy. Now let's move on to fall Halloween garden decor. I will say that I am very attached to these items because I do love fall, but it's also a time of me mourning the summer season because summer is my absolute favorite time of the year. But all the fall and autumn and Halloween stuff does make me happy. So it helps me to cope with those emotions a little better because I do get the winter blues. Now, here are some of those older Halloween steaks that I got in 2009 for like $3 each at a yard sale. But honestly, I'm feeling confident that we can let this go. I have so much new stuff to enjoy. Now let's start sweeping this back corner because I wanna get to this shelf right over here, or at least start it. Cause there is some garden stuff in here like my butterfly and this little spindle. I can put these things out now. And my mosaic garden globe has really held up very good over the years, but it's really pretty when the sun hits it just right. And this tray actually goes to this little garden wagon that my dad gave me a few years ago. And I definitely wanna clean this off and make it functional once again. And these are some of the kids' garden mosaics that they made a few years ago. Now, might have to fix some 
some of them up, but it's actually cool that we get to take them out again. And this is the second garden globe that goes outside. Now this watering can was a housewarming gift that we got in 2008. That's how old it is. And does it have a lot of memory? Yes, but you know what? We can definitely let this go. And these flower flat trays we can let go of. Same with the random wheels. That's a tossy tossy. This is hubby, so he has to make a decision on what to do with that. Now these garden stakes are very old, probably over a decade old. So we are going to let this go. I'm not feeling the creative need to recreate it into something else. So they are also a tossy tossy. Now, random pieces of wood. This is hubby's sector, so he has to make a decision, but I see a very old butterfly decor. And of course, she's, she's, she's past her prime and we have to let her go. And this over here is all scrap metal. This can all be cleared out. So hubby's gonna do it this weekend. So it's going to show up in the next video that this is cleared out. So this is our first official tossy tossy pile alongside the scrap metal. We put a nice little dent in it and I'm happy. I'm happy that we got this started. I'm happy that the boys are making decisions to let things go because everything that you let go of creates a new space in your home. And this right over here is their keep pile bin that we have so far. And now I get to show you the newly opened up space. Now between the tossy tossies, the beach stuff and the garden stuff that's already out, I wanna keep this area open because I would like to create shelving alongside this wall. And we already have the wood. The wood is right over here. So once all that scrap metal is out, and once we clear out that section, he can then build the shelving area so that we can move forward with organizing. And I am just so excited to see how this shed ends up looking. And my hope and my prayer is that this video motivated and encouraged you to clean, declutter, and let go of something in your home today too.